learned something really cool today and I thought I would share it with all of you. Um, one thing that I thought was since we're all stuck at home and um, we can't get out and we can't see our students, why not create a virtual office space because we are posting things to each other quite often. And um, I know you guys are posting to your students on Seesaw and um, Google. Um, you're creating slides, you're in classroom, things like that. And so this is something that um, is really easy to set up and is really kind of fun to be able to share with your students. All right, so I'm going to show you. This is my virtual office space that I created today, and I put my Bitmoji in there. And so I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you how to create this. All right, so first we're going to open up a new tab. And I am going to go into um, my drive or slides. I can also go through slides if I wanted to. Um, I'm going to hit Google Slides. I'm going to let, let it come up. Um, I don't need any of these text boxes, so I'm going to click and I'm going to delete. So I click until I get the plus sign, then I delete. Now I have a blank slate. So what I want to do first is I need to create a background. And so I need to hit this background button here. The reason why I hit this background button here um, and I don't just paste a picture in there is that I don't want students to be able to move around my background. If you put a picture in there, students can now move your background and mess with it. So whatever's in a background is um, stuck there. You can't move it. So you're going to hit background and then you're going to hit over here where it says choose image. You're going to select that. And then normally when you select images for backgrounds, you go to upload or you go to Google Drive because you've saved them. We're going to come over here to Google Image Search. And I am going to search um, floor and wall background. And that is the magic search that you want to do. Um, floor and wall. Because what you want to do is you want to create um, a space. So you're going to look through and you can kind of look through all of these. It's kind of cool. I kind of like this one. So I'm going to insert that. There's lots and lots and lots of there's a ton of them that you can find to do. And then I'm going to hit done. So this just became my, my office space. Okay. So the next thing I want to do, and see, look, I can't, I can't click and drag it all over. It's stuck, which is what exactly what I want. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit insert and I'm going to hit image and I can, and I'm going to hit search the web. And then it's going to bring this over here. I can also do it by the shortcut. There's an arrow here. I'm going to click the down arrow. I'm going to hit search from the web. Same thing. So I want to start by hitting transparent. Um, and I want to say I want a desk. So a transparent desk. And then I'm just going to look through what it brings up for me. Um, and I want something that doesn't have a background. Something. This is the one I used earlier. So I can use that there. And you can just click and drag it. Um, or you can click on it, and then it brings this, and you can hit Insert here. Um, but once it's here, do you see this blue box? I want to pull from the edge. So when I get the arrow on the edge, I'm going to click, and I'm going to drag it to resize it. I don't ever want to resize from here because it's going to distort the image, and your image will look uh, wonky. And so I'm just going to put my table in there. Now, the one thing that I, you want to make sure is that all four of your feet are on the floor so that it doesn't look silly. Um, and then I can say I want, I want a couch. So I'm going to leave transparent, and I'm going to say couch, and I'm going to try to find something that I like. And I'm going to move this, move this over here, okay, making sure that the feet are on the ground. And I think I kind of like that. I don't like that table anymore, so I'm going to get rid of that. Um, I can go ahead and um, 
I can fill this space up. I can put a rug on here, transparent rug. I want to see, um, maybe I want a rug on the floor. And you got to kind of play around with it and kind of see what do you like, what do you not like. Um, you know, like this, I don't like the angle that it's at because I have this couch here that's kind of, at, so I would like it at an angle, um, but I can't, you know, I can't rotate it that because this is a picture. And so I don't like that. So we're going to get rid of that. Um, this one's at an angle here, um, but I don't really like the color. Mm. So anyways, you can see there's lots and you just kind of have to play around with it. Um, maybe I won't add a rug right now. Um, but maybe I want a table. And I kind of want just a small table. But I'm kind of looking for something that's along the same lines as this couch. Again, I'm going to resize it. I don't need it that big. And I want to put it over here. But I kind of want to tuck it down behind. So I can do that really easily because, um, see, I don't want it to look like it's in the middle of the couch. So what I can do is I can click on that. So I have my blue box again. And I'm going to hit Arrange. Um, and I want to order it. And I want to send it to the back. And then that way, my couch is in front of the table. OK? And it just gives me a little something. So now I can come over here and I can say, I want a laptop, right? So I'm looking for a laptop that I can drag over in here. And again, I have to resize it. And I can set it on my table so that it looks like my office space. Whoops. Okay. Um, I can also, let's put, uh, I want to put like a, a whiteboard or a TV or something right here. So let's um, go ahead, either, either you can hit insert text box like that, or you can go to the shortcut and hit that. Now, see where I have the plus sign? I'm going to click and I'm going to drag while I'm clicking. And that brings my text box. So what I want to do is I want to come up here to where it says fill color, and I want to make it white. So now it's filled that in white. Now I kind of want to make it look like either a whiteboard um, or I want to make it look like a smart board or I want to make it look like a TV. So what I want to do is I want to come over here to the border and I want to, mm, yeah, about eight looks good. So I'm going to put an eight and I want to come over here and make sure it's black. And then there you go. So there's my, um, I can move it around. I can resize it without a problem. Maybe, maybe I just want it to be like that. That looks good. Now, if I wanted to type in here, I could do that as well. Um, what I'm going to do then is I am going to... Um, I'm going to make sure that I double click. That's what I have to do. So I'm going to double click and then I can type in welcome in there. Boom. Done. Um, I can type in a lot of different things in there. I can put an image on top, whatever you would like. I actually want to use this as a um, computer screen or like a like a video screen, so I can plop this video that I'm done with when I upload it to YouTube. I can then plop that link right in there, and you'll see a picture of um, the screen right on the TV screen. Uh, so I'm going to leave it blank for now, and then maybe I want to put some decorations on the wall, right? So let's just do, maybe I want ocean pictures, right? Because I want it to be serene. I want it to be um, 
very calming. So again, I just drag it over and I don't really like that image. I like this one. We'll bring this over. Everybody wishes they were at the beach right now. Beautiful sunny day, warm weather. All right, so now I have my image there. And if you notice, it just is an image on the wall. And I can leave it like that, and that's not a problem if you want it to look like that. But I want to put a border around it, because if I put a border around it, um, it then looks like it's a framed piece of artwork. Okay? I can change that color of border to, say, I wanted if I wanted it to be brown, I could do that. It could be a brown frame. If I want it to be black, I can change that color there to black, and it's got a black frame around it, okay? So um, I can do the same thing with, um, let's see here. We'll do an image of this, a Disney castle. Because I love Disney World and I, another place that I would love to be right now. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and just put it there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a black frame around it again. Again, I want to make sure it's black. Did you see it was actually gray? So I want my frames to be black, so I want to make sure that that is black. Um, but if you look, look, it's in front of my tree, right? So all I need to do then is go ahead and hit Arrange, Order and send to back. And then, oh, let me try that again. Arrange, order. Oh, you know why? Because this is part of my background. So that's not gonna work. I'll have to shrink it up just a little bit. Totally fine. All right, so that is, um, that's how you change uh, your background, how you want it to look. You can put a coffee mug here. If you notice in my, in my other one, I've done my coffee mug, I've got some sticky notes, I've got a calendar on the wall, there's a plant back here, I've got some framed artwork, and then this is the space that I will put my video uh, for you guys to click on. All right, so let me go back to what the one we were working on. Um, what I want to do next is... Um, I want to show you guys how to add a Bitmoji to it. Um, actually, before we do a Bitmoji, my recommendation is to do a screenshot of this. Um, I have a MacBook, so it's Command Shift 4 for me. And then I just click and drag over the image, and then it screenshots it so that I can then add another slide and I can insert. Um, well, actually, I'm going to do background. I'm going to choose an image, and I'm going to go to upload. And this is where I'm going to find that screenshot. And the reason I'm going to do this is so that I can, nobody can mess around with any of my, um, oh, this might be my first one. Yeah, this was not the one I just did. That's not what I wanted. Sorry, I have a lot of screenshots on here. Um, this is the screenshot I wanted. So um, this way, students won't be able to um, move any of my things around and be silly and funny. So this one, they could move things around. This one, this is all now a background, OK? So you can't click. You can't move any of this around, OK? So it's kind of nice to do a screenshot, and then you can put your Bitmoji on here. You can put your Bitmoji on the first one and then do a screenshot. Totally up to you. Um, anyways, okay, so now if you look up here, I have an extension for Bitmoji up here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up a page, a web page, a browser page, and you're going to Google Bitmoji. And then you're going to see it'll come up and it'll say, um, It'll, sh it'll look like this, and but over here it will say Add to Chrome. And so you do want to make sure you are working in Chrome um, so that you can add this extension. 
And so you're going to click on that to add to Chrome, and then you're going to create your Bitmoji. Once you do that, um, then you have your character in here. Okay, so this is my character. Um, what I want to look for is, like if I wanted to look for a standing character, right? Um, I might say, I might say stand. No, it doesn't work. If I do sitting, you're going to see there's this one that I, I used earlier in my other one, and I can use that one again. But I kind of wanted one that maybe she was standing off to the side. Um, so you'll just have to kind of look through here and just find what you're looking for. Um, like, here's one. I think she's dancing in that one. It's just kind of fun to add different. There's a, there she is dancing. Um, and I can resize it again, just like I did in the others. Um, I can push her off to the side so that she's not in front of the screen here. And maybe move her down a little bit so that her hand isn't in front of that screen. But then you can kind of see, um, it just adds some more personality and it just is you. It's you in your office space or your classroom. Um, so, yeah. Um, so if you wanted to add, I showed you how to add text to here. Say you wanted to add a link to a YouTube video. So you're going to hit insert and you're going to look for a link. Oh, maybe it's in. It's, so it's under here. If you look under this or insert image, it might be under there too. Yeah. In, insert image. Oops. Insert image and then come down here to buy URL. You're going to click on that. Um, and then you can you can paste that in there, or you can do I was looking for I guess that's how I have to do it. If I use this, let me see if I double click create the dates. I double click. Okay, so see how I have my text box here? So you might have to do that here. You might have to just click here, drag a text box over the top, which is totally fine. You'll never see it. Um, and then, like, say I had welcome again. Um, if I double click in there, then I hit that link. There you go. So what you do is you double click like with two finger click and then you hit link and then you paste in your URL from your YouTube video that you want to share and then the text you can say um, welcome to my classroom and you could have a video of just talking to your kids or you could have um, tutorial of um, virtual classroom and then um, you would paste the link in there which I don't have and then you hit apply and then just this text right here would show up and then kids could click on that and get to your video okay I hope this was helpful I hope it was fun um, let me know if there's any other kind of video that you want me to show you guys how to do. I would be happy to do that. All right. Thank you very much.